We wanted Spore to be this very wide perspective. The simplest form of life has the potential to go out and have immense interesting interactions in this basically lifeless galaxy. That's really the story of Spore. What does a lifeless galaxy look like? Then you drop life in. What does that life do within the galaxy? And in doing so, you actually end up hitting all these different scientific subjects and you get an interesting perspective on things like physics and chemistry, biology, sociology. Starting at the very beginning of the game, you know, we're using kind of a panspermia theory of life coming to this planet, starting single cell, then going up through evolution. One of the interesting things that happens is that you have this successive kind of interplay between cooperation and competition. You'll have little cells competing. At some point, some of them decide to group together and cooperate, and they become specialized, and you get multicellular organisms. Then you have individual creatures competing. At some point, some of them start grouping together, forming very simple little societies, out-competing the individuals. And as a society, they also tend to specialize. I see evolution as kind of this interplay between competition, driving cooperation, driving specialization, which then brings the competition to the next level. As we come up into space, we're actually putting you in a toy galaxy that you can now go around and it's, you know, it's huge like a real galaxy. It has a lot of the same kind of cool objects that you might see in something like the Hubble Space Telescope. We have things like black holes that you can visit. But at that point, we're actually simulating things like the planetary biosphere. And we have very simple models for you to go in and, in fact, terraform a planet, develop the food web. You actually see the interdependence of species, the ecology going on there. So in some sense, we're trying to hit all these sciences in a fairly, you know, very fun-to-play framework where you're not just experiencing the science or seeing it, but you're actively involved in kind of creating these things. What we want our players to be able to do are tell these amazing stories of what they've done in the game. And the more these stories connect back to reality, to aspects of the world that we live in, or different sciences, then I think the more powerful those stories are, the more relevant they are. So we wanted an environment that was kind of interesting, fantastical, diverse, creative, but at the same time, all of this stuff connected back to reality. When you walk away from the game, we want people to think about the world that they live in a little bit differently as a result of having played the game.